Step, 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 and then they can step up here. There we go. I think that's good. I don't think it's gonna stress the line. Maybe it will, actually. We'll see. I can only cool down gases to a minimum temperature of 100, so negative 173, that's negative. Oh, so wait, if it gets well below the... Oh, shit, I've had something chilling here forever. Pinch of pepper seed, great. If I have... If this thing gets a negative 280, whatever, um, and then I pipe something through it, I would have this buffer because it's not going to heat it beyond a certain point, which means it's not going to just tank it right away. Right? If you're saying that the gases will only... Oh, the gas, the ambient gases will be. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll let it go. It's at negative 142 right now, so we'll get there <laughs> fucking quickly, I see. I think. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I feel like at the end of uh, the episode last week, I felt like we were kind of like just running out of things to do because everything else was like a big ass like mission that would take forever uh and then today it's just like just constant just constant improvements just constant everything let's uh insulate pipes and go down and then what we'll do is we'll pipe it into here because there's a filter there what is it well what is it doing okay it's dumping everything i see i see it's done okay so it's only dumping out the natural gas into the reservoirs and the natural gas going up here to this so and this is disabled we'll just suck all the natural gas out of there and store it for now and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do i think we should probably put a sensor of some sort here though because i don't want this to run willy-nilly so we'll put an atmospheric sensor or a uh natural gas sensor maybe I like guess natural gas that turns on. Hmm. Nah, just pressure. I think just pressure is fine. We've got a nice little open room here. They can get up in here and work. Oops. I don't want to. Come on, get out of the way. It's the automation. So small. Yeah, put it like right here. As for sensor. Good. And we'll just set it to what is what is the area right now? The area is 2,000. So we'll set it to like 500 or something. That way, once it gets to a certain point, it just kind of kicks on whatever is necessary. Also, it looks like we're missing uh, granites. Are we actually out of granites? I believe we might be, actually. We are out of granites. Let's find some more. Mineral. Granite is what color? Granite is black. And we have this thing surrounded by granite. But we're not going to get in there. Oh, man. There's tons of granite under here. Oh, there's also tons of granite over here, too. Oh, my God. There's, like, lots of it. There's... I'm sitting on like tons of granite, so we should definitely get through here and get some of this. Let me see, can they climb up and over? Right. I'll give it a second to think. No, your dupe did not die again. I haven't really checked on the uh on the dupes as a whole. Just kinda let them go and do their own thing. <laughs> They've been surviving though. <laughs> so we're good on that front. Oh, uh, they can't reach us over here. Ha huh, funny. Mm, the ladder. Actually, let's see. So G that. Cut this. Dang it. Just and then can they reach out with a see the ladder? Ladder. There we go. It looks like we're getting towards the end here of this setup. Oh cool, we are. Um what we'll do is well we're gonna we're actually gonna destroy this whole thing. This is just a temporary thing to get all of this hydrogen out of here. There's some hydrogen right here. Not enough to really worry about. But good, it's all oxygen out here. Nice, warm, stuffy oxygen. Good. <laughs> Fantastic. So now we can just go and cut all of this. So we'll just yoink everything. No, it's just buildings. Not coming. Everything. Still need a place to dump that natural gas. Let's put a vent thingy over here. Natural gas, natural gas, a cancer canister emptier, good. And then we'll set that natural gas and they'll come over here and they'll dump it out. 
It may not work though. It's pretty. It's a pretty good amount of uh, gas in there. Let's turn this on. Try to get some of that flowing. Are we dormant yet? Both of them idle erupts. See, next dormancy 23.5 cycles, but this one comes back up in 23 cycles. <sighs> Where's all the grit? <laughs> Standing on top of grit. I know, I know, I know. Uh, looks like they got it all, so great. Maybe we can do the same thing. Let's do some strip mining here. Mm, what is this? Copper? We should actually take all of this out. What is all this? Obsidian, obsidian, obsidian. Do let me some obsidian. Obsidian. What is the... Yeah. Yeah, let's just have him go over here and just strip some of this out. We'll just leave the Abyssal Light, as usual. There we go. We'll cut all of this shit out. And then this is... Uh, oh, so close! It's so close! <laughs> just need like one more square. Just one more square. Just cut a square. Right here. <laughs> Cut it! There, now they can finish the job. <laughs> uh, no power because the switch is turned off. Let's turn the switch on. Wait, is that whole switch really attached to that same line? Oh, it is. <laughs> we, we shut off this entire, uh, this entire operation just from one switch. Boop! There we go. And that's going to start operating. It's not because, let's see, it's above a thousand. This is in a green signal. Perfect. We'll come back and check on that. Barbecue. Mm-mm. Dupes love barbecue. I want barbecue. Very breathable. Oh, uh, wow. We're getting uh we're getting a popped air a popped popped ears zone here, guys. Whoops. The uh our little friend here is putting out a ton of gas. So let's go ahead and deconstruct that. How funny. It's put out some cold gas too, actually. So we'll deconstruct that. That was just a uh, temporary measure to, I think, just to get as much oxygen into, into this space as possible. But yeah, all the vents are now overpressurized. They're probably on the verge of popped eardrums. I think like 5,000 is popped eardrums, right? And then stress goes. The stress is already up for somebody. It's probably Lindsay. Damn it, Lindsay. Every time, man. Reliable. Reliably stressed out. What is wrong? Mmm. Pop eardrums. Who to thunk? <laughs> She's a farmer too. She's probably working over here and uh, ran those issues. So, whoops. Let me see. I think we have enough eggs down here, right? Where's all of our dudes at? Uh, are they all bunched up right here? Let me see. Sage, shine, shovel, fry egg. Let's just have them uh, forever. Four units of that, six units of that. No, I'll forget if I do that. We'll do, uh, we'll do like five of each, even though this, we don't have five of each. Just to, I don't know, what's the fucking point of that? I fucking hate farming. <laughs> or ranching or whatever. Farming is also a pain in the dick. Notice my guys are still eating mealwood. 700, 900, 800, uh, cycles in. Lindsay, a member of 21 Pilots because she's always stressed out. Lindsay Geektron. I mean, well, okay, no. The, the, the actual Lindsay Geek trial, I'm not saying she's stressed out all the time. But that's the one that, uh, that I named that one off uh, after. So here we go. Natural gas. Perfect. They clean all this up. They're getting here with this. Which is great. We can actually start running this pipe over. Transit tube. Can it come right off of uh, this? Ooh, no, that's kind of jank. Can't turn here. Ah, okay, that's all I was looking for. We'll come straight across. And then it's gonna go down. Can't go through that? That's annoying. That's really annoying. Uh, well, wait, where do they have to go over here? Oh, because they're probably gonna, if they end up working down here to grab this or whatever, maybe I'll have them drop it off. Drop themselves off over here. Well, I guess I wanted to drop them off, like, right at their work place. I can just put them right, uh, right on a mesh tile. And they can get to work over here. Good. Some of that's temporary, but i break this. There's the one that has Critter Killer Machine. You can set on a farm to wrangle excess and kill and eat them. Yeah, that's what I want. I want to be able to, uh, just, you know, just take them as 
as they get yeah as if there's too many in a, in a in a certain volume then swap them out you know kill a bunch and go from there i came down this way only because going on that side was not really an option because of the the gas liquid valve what is this valve for this valve even for anything Hell no! Oh wait, oh I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's to it's to get the liquid out of here, which we're gonna eventually have to use. But we don't necessarily need that here right now. So let's go ahead and actually get rid of it. Let's we'll leave the pipe, but we'll take the filter out of the way. And then what we'll do is we'll rerun this pipe so it's not zigzagging all over the place. Let's we'll have it go over and down, and that's it. And then in doing that, we could go straight down almost. It looks like. <sighs> Let me see. How do I want to do this? I think like some of these, some of these zigzags are a bit much. <laughs> it's a bit much. I've only been using uh, these plastic tubes for a little while, but this is this is yeah. What if they have so much fun? I know. What if they do? I know. I didn't think about that. You're right. <laughs> should take. I should take their feelings into consideration. I'm not building this garbage. No, really. These tables. These tables are in the way. Can I deconstruct these tables? Computer desk, inspect. Uh, I don't know that. Okay, well, I wasn't talking to you. View entry. Anyway, uh, look at the first alternate lantern turn event. Okay, okay. Well, I can't get rid of them. So I guess I do have to zigzag somewhere over here. Okay, well, I get rid of these tiles here. Let me do that. And same thing with this one deconstruct. Good. I could have swore there was a time I could not cut through those things, and I wonder if that was in a recent update. Uh, am I gonna? No, I'm not. Okay, good. Let's build it here, and then we'll figure it out because the rest is, uh, it's a lot of zigzags there. <laughs> There's a mod to delete POIs. Oh! By the way, boy, how's it going? Um, I. I, I could just use the admin tool, even though I've had karma bite me in the ass for that in the past. Uh, let's open this door up. Let's see, open. And then let's also zap this. Kind of create a little more flow. Actually, we'll probably cut all this out too. Which is going to give us a lot of igneous rock, some fossils, some iron ore, good. And a bunch of other crap. God, I can't believe how much plastic we have. It's just insane. Just insane. I guess I could go ahead and have these guys continue digging all this out at their leisure. Actually, all the way across. Oh man, it's getting there! I'm excited. I'm excited for this new system to go into place. This is gonna take forever because I guess because we are. Huh. Oh god, it's all this hydrogen up here too. <laughs> oh, look at this perfect little rainbow separation here. Isn't that great? Look at that. That's just satisfying. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, let's see. Plenty of oxygen in this room. <laughs> Fuck it, plenty. There's some hydrogen here. We could take this hydrogen, turn it on, and actually have it dump out here. How's this room doing? This room is cold. Good. That's what we want to see. Cold. Let's see. How's this? Negative 203. And getting colder. Maybe we should dump some more hydrogen into the space. Do we have a high pressure vent in here? We do actually. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's uh, let's alleviate some of the pressure from uh, downstairs by turning this on and having it dump all of that stuff over in in our cooling area. Well, what previously was a, a nice biome. Uh, this is not on because the sensor, I think, is what it is. Yeah, sending a red signal. Let's just turn it on. It's the oxygen. It'll just stay on. Na, 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 na. Oxygen. Put on. Now it's running. We have so much plastic. It almost to the point where we could replace all these damn ladders with uh, plastic. You know what? Let's just fucking do it. Yeah, we have so much plastic. This uses 50. We have 9,500 plastic. So yes, let's just build 
uh, a bunch of plastic ladders from the ground to the top. And there you go. Plastic beds. That's not, that's a great idea too. That'll be coming next. God, I feel rich. I feel rich. I feel privileged just to do that. We just drag a whole line of plastic ladders. <laughs> so so much privilege here. Can I bring this all the way down? Oh, it's gonna skip that. It's fine. I feel like we might run into heat issues down here. Plastical melt. I know, exactly, exactly, Mr. Fancy plant Pants. You know, it's plastic. Mr. Fucking Plastic. Why is this not? Pipe's blocked. Why is the pipe blocked? Uh, oh, because, yeah, it's because it's blocked. <laughs> because we have way too much oxygen in here. It's crazy how much oxygen we have. Is it backing up over here? It's not, but it is going to, right? Yeah, it'll eventually get there. Crazy. So much oxygen. So that's going to take them like 10 years to do because all the plastic is downstairs. So they got to go all the way down there, grab that plastic. Oh, this. Oh, shit. We need to find a better way to do this junction here. This tube, tube crossing, yeah, it doesn't go over the uh, the ladder or whatever, under the ladder. So, I wonder if I should have it branch out somewhere else? Like right here or something? No, no. I think we could go ahead and cut through this abyssal light here. This abyssal light's not doing anything for us anymore because we own the bottom and the top. So yeah, let's let's start here by cutting all this up, and then we will. Pat, well, wait, we're using some of it though. I could do a zig oh, I could do a zigzag right here. Yeah, to get that started. But I want to solve this. Ah, well, you know what? Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Tomorrow me. <laughs> you're right. You're right. I forgot. There's always tomorrow me. There we go. Um. But no, what I want to do, I want to get rid of this. Like, this is jank. <laughs> like, this is super jank. But how? Um, like, what, like, I'm trying to think of what a, what a good setup is to, to make it so that way they can still get past it. Because they can't. They can't get past it. Yeah, we'll decide later. Right now we have a thousand plastic ladders to build. I'm waiting for this long commutes. Once this long commutes thing is gone, that's when we know we've made it. We can start bringing in some more, more, uh, more folks to help with things. All kinds of stuff. This room is getting hella cold. This hydrogen is negative. Yeah, dang. How is this temperature? What? Oh, look, it, it didn't even change. So it didn't even matter that we were pumping in cold uh, hydrogen in here. Didn't even make a difference. Food supply is about half of what it was last stream. Did I miss something? No, we, we've just happened to find a balance between 10 dupes and the amount of food that we're producing. That, that's seriously all it is. Uh, we have the we have the storage for more food if needed, but um, as this thing gets full, uh, and I don't know what the last one... Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. There's a, there's a hatch right here. Let's, uh... Does it play well with these guys? Well, we'll see. I'm gonna leave them in there. Sage hatch. Uh, just all of them. Just all of them. Just all of them. Oh, that's a critter. That's the the food. What are the abyss like? Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> Can't even feed? Is he hatch hatchling? Hatch will feed. Oh, they'll eat anything. So maybe we should put like dirt in there. Have him turn it to coal. That critter drop off. Let's go ahead and have him do hatch. Hatchling. Wait, is hatchling on here? Oh, it is. Okay. But is that also let's see dirt and then hatch? It's dirt. Okay. But yeah, the uh, the food supply right now is being regulated by the fridge, um, and we just happen to be at the perfect amount of food generation and food consumption. Because if you look at the bottom here, we have meal ice that is, we have only one piece of meal ice that is at 14% stale, it's almost about to go stale. Um, and seven pieces that are uh, close to being stale. Now, I assume that some of those are going to be eaten before they go completely stale so that's good if we had a bunch of fresh 
like just straight fresh in there. Um, or actually, no, sorry. If we had, if we had, if we had like tons of meal lice that were going stale, then that means that we're just generating too much. Uh, so yeah, no, we're not right now. Meal, like, which you could, you can't really cook meal ice in anything else, right? right? Isn't there? There's no. Uh, let's see, pickleberry. I have everything selected here. Mush fry, barbecue, frost bun. Yeah, no, nothing. I know we have. There's another. There's a grill that you can make, but we don't have. We have a very shitty food system right now. <laughs> we're only doing like we're seriously only making meal meal wood meal ice, and that's it. Did that hatch make it up there? Looks like it did. Good, good. You can just chill. Make coal. How much coal do I have? I've never used coal. Let me see. Consumable ore. Let's close some of this shit up. Consumable ore. Coal. 41 tons. I think you can make temp shift plates with coal, right? <laughs> uh, do they eat the ones that are closer to going stale first? Yes, they do. Yep. Before you discover that long commute's message is because one dupe decided to go to the other side of the asteroid to dis disinfect the tile. No! How do plastic ladders work? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you would think that that would be a, some kind of OSHA violation or something. What are they working on? Still grinding. Okay, still grinding. Good. Get it. Get it. Just haven't done that. They can reach it, though. So what are they working on? I mean, they're 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 doing things, but I don't feel like we're getting maximum efficiency here. This hasn't been built. Let me see. Natural gas. Mm hmm. Get that nine. Get those bottles. They're all. They're all. Oh, they're all making plastic ladders still. Okay, so the plastic ladders are priority. What did I set those to? Sixes. Are those sixes? Oh, those are sixes. I think the dig commands are still fives. Okay. We're good. Yeah, dig commands are five. So yeah, they all they all just started building. The only people that are running around doing digging uh, chores are the people that do not have uh, building in their uh, in their CV in their res their resume. <sighs> Gulp. <laughs> this is delicious. Negative two hundred and twenty one degrees. Holy crap. God, what do I want to try to cool down first? Should I just make like one one pipe, one one radiant pipe right here to see what happens? What is this coming out at? Uh, you know what? I'll take the uh, no, not radiant. That's a bad idea. <laughs> Radiant's like a super bad idea. Uh, maybe we can take like this one little chunk right here that has a bridge for no reason, and make that. I mean, it's thirty six degrees. Where's it going? Oh, this is going up and over to, uh... Oh, okay, it's going through this whole system. Yep, 35 degrees. There's no, there's no reason to cool that right now. Yeah, I guess I just don't have anything I, I really need to cool, except for water. Water's the only thing I really need to cool, right? Yeah, 120 degrees. But boy, I'm really, I'm really scared about flash freezing, man. Maybe when it comes out this way? God, it's still coming out really cold. Let's try it! Yeah, 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 we were, uh, uh... It's, it's to advertise the new soundtrack. We were playing it earlier, but, um... But the music, it's all like the music that's typically contextual. And so I decided to, uh, I'm gonna try one regular pipe first, uh, talk. Because I, this is so cold, I have a feeling that it's gonna, if I do a radiant pipe, that the water is gonna lose the battle. <laughs> so, wait, no, um, I, what was I saying? Oh yeah, about the, uh, about clay. Oh yeah, so it's, it's the soundtrack. They just released the soundtrack. And, look at that one right there. Uh, and all the music is contextual, so it just didn't really feel like it made much sense to uh, to play it while I played it for a bit. But it felt like there were certain triggers that were happening because it was like we'll play a sound. It's like, oh, is this happening? And no, it's not. It's just because it's playing on the feed. But it's good though. One radiant pipe won't do a thing. Yeah, will burst. <laughs> the water inside will absolutely burst, like immediately. I am certain of it. It's negative two hundred and twenty degrees in here. It'll, uh, yeah, it, it'll flash freeze. Uh, one standard pipe, I think is the answer. Uh, but how do I want to get in here and do this, though? <laughs> now that I've locked everything up. I guess we'll go from this side. Do-do-do-do. 
And we'll make this a P9 so we can actually get it started. And that's a 9 as well. And should I put a door up? I mean, it's pretty cold. I wonder if we can probably just go ahead and throw a door up. Ah, uh, an ice making machine. Yeah. It's mechanized. Oh, look, there's already a thing there for it. Let me see. What is... Thermally reactive, thermal reactive, high thermal conductivity. Why don't they make like a like a wool door or something? <laughs> like something that's that's uh that's just not going to let all the heat out, which I guess copper ore would be the deal. Copper door. We have plenty of copper coming soon, so it's starting to drop in temperature as the gas is getting it out here. There's lots of hydrogen in there, so yeah, that's still all gonna start shooting out very quickly. Yeah. Uh, not too- it's actually pretty compressed outside, too. There's a lot of pressure outside. We need that stuff done. We need it done. Yeah, like a wool- I know, yeah, I, I don't know, like something insulated, man. Like a fur door or something. Like, just something, like, like an insulated tile, but in a door form. That's what I want. Because doors are always just letting letting shit through, man. Oh man, I I, I, I see a problem already. <laughs> They're going all the way up and around. Let's uh, let's do this, and we'll kill this here. Good, good. Okay, so it's done. The water is going in at 137 degrees, and it's dropping by how much? Not much. It's well, it's it is dropping, but it's it's like. 10 degrees or something. Yeah, it's like 10 degrees. God damn it. I don't want to do radiant pipe, man. All right, Milan. Listen, we're going to do radiant pipe. And if I'm wrong, then that's fine. I really don't think this is going to work. I feel like it's going to just do damage to my... Oh, this thing's already down to negative 180 degrees. Yikes. We I lost a lot of heat there. Or a lot of, uh... Energy. Gained a lot of heat, technically. Yeah, get those done. Well, let me try. Let me. I'm gonna go ahead and try the radiant pipe. Okay, let's see. It's coming out at like three degrees, seven degrees. Ooh, man. Let's see what it's doing to this. It's dropping significantly, below freezing, actually, but I don't think it freezes, uh, I mean, not every drop. Yeah, some drops are getting through. The larger globules are getting through at, uh, 80 degrees, 20 degrees, 10 degrees, but I wonder if that's gonna have a negative impact on this. If this could maintain negative 120, or negative 100, uh, then... Yeah, that's going to be the next thing we do. We have to throttle the flow. But, I, this is a main line. I have to go see where it's going before I decide to just throw a, throw a valve on it. 100, negative 103. Yeah, hold on. This is going, this is going over. Oh yeah, this is feeding the electrolyzer. Yeah. Uh, that electrolyzer could get fed by anything. It doesn't have to be fed by this. So I think what I'll do is we'll solve this one now by just putting a bridge over this. This actually should done this a long time ago, actually. So let's see. What a bridge. What a bridge. Boop. And then pipe here. Snip it here. There we go. So that'll give it a direct line from, from this setup here. And this is going into this whole system. It's feeding back. Some of it's feeding back. Some of it's going up into the liquid bottler. Some of it's going up into the soda machine that's not being used. Getting carbon dioxide pumping into it. Um, oh my gosh, I just thought of something. We're constantly ejecting all this carbon dioxide out into space. We should run it over here to the soda machine. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start that too. Let's see. Let's uh let's go ventilation. Then we'll run this yeah, alongside here. And we could go straight up here. Whoops, whoops, whoops. We'll leave a gap just in case. What is that? Abyssal light? Yeah, that's fine. Wait, is that not does it not take does the soda machine take? Yeah, it's like, oh, you know what then? It's gotta have a uh, a bottler. Well, that's annoying, but that's easy solved. 
We just put that. Where do I put it though? Hold on. Let's cancel that. It is going up over here. Maybe we can just put it right here. Or somewhere over here. Yeah, I forgot. It needs to have uh, carbon resource. It has to. Yeah, so it does say carbon dioxide, but yeah, there's no input. So there is input here. What we could do is put a, uh, put a bottle right here and to see if, how long it takes to fill up. It'd probably take fucking years because we don't have a whole lot of carbon dioxide in the base anymore. We've ejected all of it into space. <laughs> so, hmm. Hmm. What can we do? Where should we put this thing? Let's put it down here. Just back that out of the way. Uh, we could just, uh, yeah, we get to it pretty easily. Good. And then we'll just run one little tiny stretch of pipe to there. And then we'll, uh, I guess we'll just snip it too and just see if it backs up. We're still creating carbon dioxide, but we're just not, yeah, it's not a ton. But it's not, there's not from down here because this thing's, <laughs> yeah. there's basically no carbon dioxide down here at all. This room's been sealed. How funny, it's taking forever to get to this. Why is that? Because it's a five. Let's make it a six. Soda stream. Oh, yeah. There's plenty of carbon dioxide down here, guys. Let's take this the ambient stuff. Where's like the ambient, like, just pulls the carbon dioxide and puts it in there? Need like a gas output on the uh, carbon skimmer that just bypasses it completely and just puts the carbon dioxide in here. Since it clearly has a filter. Right? It has a filter, because it doesn't turn on whenever there's no carbon dioxide. Starvation, that's bullshit. It's probably taking a shit. Where's Wilby going? Where's Wilby going? Let's follow him, let's follow him. Oh. Damn, I lost him. Every time. Every time. Woo, I'm starving. Let me go take a dump. There we go, cancer filler. Big old blocks, yeah. Look at all that carbon dioxide, get in there, get in there. Don't need these anymore, clean that up. And they got this, good, they got this. Go ahead and do... Good. And that drops to there. And that drops to nothing right now, because they're still working over here. Plastic. Uh maybe we'll have them drop down to the plastic. It's like, do you take a shower? <laughs> a little symbol is like, do you take a shower? I don't want to get I gotta I have, I have to zigzag through here. I don't like doing I don't want to do the zigzag thing, but I don't have a choice right now. Zigzag. Besides, you're right, maybe they think it's fun. <laughs> we <Whee. laughs> No, no, no. Ah. And then we'll go straight down here. Uh, yes and no. So we'll go down here and we'll have it just stop right here. I don't think this will activate this uh, vent. They're gonna smack their head at every turn. <laughs> That's true, they do that. And we'll get rid of this. We'll replace that with a two. There we go, that way they still have a place to stand, stand when they come up here. Good, so that'll get them to work fast. It's not going to get them home fast yet, but it's something. Uh, I can go all the way across here, too. Best I can. How's this space doing over here? Stuff I've got in here is fine. Provide skill scrummer. <laughs> Just put them in the twos for a while. It'll be fine. Don't, don't forget everything they know. <laughs> okay, so we have I mean, we have this to return them, which is great. Uh, maybe we should poke up a couple more. Put them places. I don't know where yet. But this is just so they go down here and pick up plastic, really, is all this is. And I guess come over here to work. How's that plastic doing, by the way? Plastic ladder? Plastic ladders. I think all the plastic ladders are in. Beautiful. They don't have to go up here for anything, so I don't have to worry about that yet. Long commutes. So how does that work? Let me see. Work time, travel time, personal time. Let's see. So we could break this down. Donis has got the longest. 
See over to do a spent uh, time traveling task for construction, build, relax. Okay, so it's the construction element. So it's all the tubes and everything that are going in. So hopefully that'll drop. And that's the most. Well, no, he's not the most actually. Uh, Forty-eight percent fabricate. Duplicates for fabricating. What is he? What is Wolvie working on? What does he do? I can't click and go to him. Hmm. Killing demon. Construction supply. Uh, chaos. That's just a whole mix of stuff. Yeah, I think there's more, more pipes. Honest. <laughs> just chiming in. Yeah. So right now, my what was my commute time? Uh, was it fifty percent? I should have looked at this beforehand. Travel time is fifty percent. So, and that's average. So yeah, if we could cut that down. That'd be great. And I, I, yeah, I think the tubes are gonna help immensely. Let's see how's this? Is a good? Yeah, that's good. It's a weird gap right there. It just looks weird. And then get down here and work. It's getting back. That's gonna be a problem. Hey, Milan, thanks for that follow. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, sixty-four percent travel time. I don't wonder why though. What is her? What is her? Let me see. Long commutes. Lindsay, 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 Lindsay. Uh, Lindsay, sixty-one percent store materials. Oh wow, because she does so much stuff. Storing, 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 storing. Hmm. What's her athletic skills? Is that that's still a thing, right? Uh, it's not gonna be in here. It's gonna be under. No, not skills. All right, priorities. Lindsay. I mean, Lindsay's good at everything. So I guess if she can do everything, then she should. Because she can't. But yeah, let's get all the plat. So once we get all of our pipe network in, then we'll look at, you know, why are people still not, you know, making it? Um, or why is it still not shortening their time? Uh oh. Uh oh, we're not making enough sodas. <laughs> we're not making enough sodas, guys. We gotta, we gotta do something about this. It's gonna back up, and then our natural gas generator is gonna go kaput. So let's go ahead and vent this. I can reconnect that. Take it to space. That's fine. How is this room doing over here? We left it alone for a bit just to see what it would do. Negative forty-eight. So it's still warming up. Uh, I think we decided that we can't really... I mean, the water's coming out. It's, it's like, nice and chill, which is great. It's chill-ish. 87 degrees. Uh, it's warmed up because the ATN is also warmed up. Um, we did bypass this over here, so we don't have to worry about this using it. And this goes into storage. So, yes, we can put a valve on here and trickle this in. Where can I squeeze that valve in, though? Right here. See, va 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 valve, liquid valve. Where do I want to put it? Somewhere else, maybe? Or is that really the best spot? I think it's probably the best spot. That's a dumb thing. What the hell is that? <laughs> it's so many dumb things. Oh god, if I back it up, oh yeah, we'll put it all the way over here because if I back it up on accident, it's too much. That oh look at this perfect little spot. We just slide it right in there. Mmm, that's sexy. Yeah, we'll throttle it down to something manageable, like real small drops, and then see what happens. Y'all alert not of soda, I know. Good luck with the stream. Gotta go sleep. Hey, have a good night. Have a good sleep. Um. Oh, by the way, what up, Zeno? What? Good morning. Did you have a good sleep, too? You were high as fuck when you went to bed. <laughs> it's okay. I usually am, too. Um. It's not dumb. It made sense at the time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, there's another thing, too, we gotta keep in mind. There's a lot of a lot of things that's like... Yeah, you're right. It's not dumb. It's just it, at the time, like, this is this is what made sense. Let's, let's drop this down to like 500. Just a, just a trickle. This is like a pee. Just like a, just a little tiny drip drip. Oh, they're not done yet. You gonna do it? There he goes. Nope, you gonna do it? You gonna do it? How about this? We're letting all the water in. I want to I want to see if we could dial this in so it's perfect. So we find the perfect balance of amount of liquid going through Maximize cooling and then but also maintain the temperature of the AATN So what what I'm hoping is that at 500 I'm really hoping at 500 that it's not quite enough to To warm it up and it'll actually start cooling again and then once we get it down to negative 250 degrees Then we'll uh, we'll slowly raise the uh, the amount of throughput that we have and we'll see if that's gonna uh, gonna 
going to work for us. Um, but because we're doing this very slowly, this one single radiant pipe might actually work. So long as we keep an eye on it and don't let it get, you know, too cold, obviously. Those two just... <laughs> I understand. No, they're so good. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I, I feel like, I, I think everybody at some point, uh, yeah, the water's coming out super cold too, which is great. Um, I think everybody at some point in time, especially anybody who is maybe like around my age or so, uh, ever went to a bank where you had to drive up and use one of those tube things or a pharmacy or something that used those like tubes you put in they foomp, and they go up, a uh, vacuum tube system. Uh, I think everybody has thought like, I wonder if they make one of these people size. <laughs> what would that be like? <laughs> it's such a cool system. They're always like, you know, inside the bank and they're talking through their like, you know, bulletproof glass. And they're just like, all right, sir, have a nice day. And they put it in and you hear it. You always hear it. <laughs> and then it just shows up. It's like, oh my God, this is magic. And then ATMs came out and it felt like it was low tech. I don't know why. The Jetsons, exactly. The Jetsons, Futurama and Jetsons. Yep. I never used them personally, but I remember being a passenger when my mom used them. Yep. Ex yep. Elon's trying to make a train sized one. Oh, yeah, huh? Oh, shit. We're at 800. 800. We did it. 800. All right. So we'll come back and check out in a minute. What is that right now? Let's see. It is at negative 32 degrees. Okay. So negative 32 degrees. Easy one to remember. Uh, let's see. So first, let's go ahead and we're going to save. Uh, I, 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 Apple 600. Yes. And then we're going to make a new save. It's going to be 900. Yeah, your imitation of the sound is realer than the actual real sound. <laughs> okay. Uh, new save. Space Bros Alpha. Whoa. What the hell? Alpha 900. That was a dead giveaway that I use caps lock all the time. Try to save. Try to save. There we go. Whoops. And we also got to change the... Get our big picture here. Got to remember to turn this off. So we'll let it go until it hangs for like 20 minutes. Uh oh, uh, it must be a gas issue. Sure is. I'm just gonna let it happen. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Where's it pulling that from? Oh, because it's not filtering. What is that? Polluted oxygen? And because it's getting backed up, it's moving to over here as well. Um, so whenever a pipe gets backed up, whether it's a ventilation or it's liquid or whatever, uh, and you have one of these like combo sensor and valve systems that the sensor senses something and that opens the valve. But if it's backed up, then the timing is off. So what you get is you get bleed over where it's like, you know, because one was backed up, it now pushed that, that, uh, uh that gas into the wrong pipe. Uh, so... We need to maintain, like, perfect throughput on this system in order for this to be efficient. Uh, and I can see, yeah, it's backed up. And I th I think it's the oxygen that's the problem. Yeah, it actually very clearly is the oxygen that's the problem. So, um, it's got this problem with using a merge system like this. Don't really have a way to channel that oh yes i do hmm vent that garbage <laughs> magic <foomp. laughs> okay now i want to hear this <laughs> now i want to hear this thing <laughs> that's pretty good 